Another Monday, another Cowboys undisputed dick riding segment. Let's bro. be honest with each other. It's the Carolina Jeez, Panthers. Louise. Let's go. Okay. Let's Michael go. I watched the game with me yesterday. And Michael, you know, I, I, I know when people feel a certain way, <laughs> he wasn't necessarily worried about them because when you look at the roster of the Carolina Panthers, there was nothing there. On the, there's not nothing on that roster that says, well, we're in trouble. And, and when spot. you start at the quarterback position, let alone with Bryce Young, who was a phenomenal young man. Yeah, the game tonight, okay? man. But when you look at that, you go, oh, yeah. we're not in, we're we going to be okay. <laughs> Even though, to me, you look at this and you want it to be a 10, Skip, so badly because how late in the fourth quarter, mm. all of a sudden the thing changed. In the fourth quarter, it was a one-score game. Okay, exactly. they didn't gash all in the running game nearly the way I would have liked them to, but they had some not. chunks between run. Hubbard yep. and Saunders. They had some oh, chunks yep. that they could have they because did. they only carried the ball 21 times. Mm -hmm. Skip, they got it, 110, 100 and something, yeah, 100 yards. Yeah. But if you push that thing to 30 to 35 attempts, now maybe you do something different and you allow yourself to help a young quarterback out. They didn't give themselves a chance. As mm. I set up and I talked to Michael, I tried to make him as nervous as possible. They cut that <laughs> thing to 17-10. He started slightly biting on the nails, <laughs> but he really wasn't worried about it. And I understand you celebrating with your Michael Parsons jersey on and your hat and you, you sitting there. That? Because I have, people, I have people that watch you uh, and pay attention to you because you're a front runner, okay? Oh, okay? Now, all of a sudden, you just like I Michael. Front Michael's with. screaming in my ear, oh, that's yeah. one sack, there's two sacks, there's three. He's doing all of those sort yeah. of things. I need that, I need that same energy mm. like two weeks from now. You'll I need right. that same energy right. yeah, we need because, it again, you. I go back to what I said before about you guys, mm. okay? Mm. You have not beaten anybody. Yeah. Damn. Okay, and I understand, Michael. Oh, yeah, all games in the NFL is tough. And it, mm -hmm. when they won one game, man, that's all I kept telling Michael. They won one game. I get it. A win is a win is a win. Mm. But in the end, I give you guys a six, you know, because you won. You got. You took care of business. You. It, you the fourth quarter, things turned. The score should. The score did. Mm. Put it this way: the score does not indicate how tough that game was for y'all. It does not. I understand sure. the score is lopsided sure. because of what sure, you that's did what in the fourth quarter. Like, oh, they fuck. had y'all on the side. 20 by 23 or however much y'all want to buy is close. It, it, so they barely beat him. They can barely beat them, bro. Brian, but C.D. Lamb, mm. they, they neutralized they him yards. early in the Trash. game. And then you finally got him on the corner route for the touchdown. Then he had a couple other catches. But he wasn't the same game plan that we've seen over the last several weeks with C.D. Lamb. So now you're getting ready to go up. There is no Adam Thielen's. And then no Chanotes that you're going to be playing against. When you get in that five-game stretch that you're getting ready to hit, mm. you're going to see some real players. Washington, it, after Washington, after Washington. Well, Washington's offense is Sam Howe and company Sam is Howell. good. Uh, excuse yeah. me? So they, you're Wait, right. They, they lost the ball to the all Giants. Over the field, right? That's they fine. Lost they lost to the Giants. Not, I thought right, you right, said right, the right. Giants right. were garbage. Oh, well, so but, now but, you, so but, now, but, but so now that the Giants won a damn home. game yeah, against a team, and now the Giants won a game against a uh, team that uh, a coach uh, gonna be gone in about a month and a half, really? you getting ready to gloat over two wins against them? Yeah, stop, they Skip. Look pretty good. Oh, stop, Skip. Huh? Come on, man. You know, damn well the, you know damn well the Giants aren't good, and you know Washington not good either. Mm. They're good on offense, but mm. as a team, mm. you know they're they not good, bad. Skip. So now you want to, so now you want to jump all over. The Washington team and make it seem Seahawks, like the Eagles, Giants Bills. is good I mean, because y'all beat them 89 They're going to beat the Seahawks. We don't even know what's going on with Gino. We did. Concentrate on Philadelphia, man. We are. I'm yeah, hoping yeah. they lose you to Philly. You concentrate on Philadelphia. Yeah, Let's start team. Yeah, that's what I'm that's that, right. Right. Both at home. Okay. Right, right. No, that's right. I'm sorry. Concentrate on Seattle before you get to Philadelphia. And if you think that the chicken legs is cooked already or the turkey legs is cooked on Thanksgiving, be my guest. Be my guest. Because I don't think so. Yeah, I don't think so. Sam, I'll put y'all away last year. My number. I can't be in a decent game, man. And I give this. I'll give them a seven in this victory. Seven that stands for completion because they are working on completing their team. You see, you, you kept talking about, well, C.D. Lamb didn't do what he did, didn't do what he has been doing. You're right. And, and, and we need to find other aspects mm. to win football games sure. late in the season and in the playoffs. And hey, that Mike. run, you just kept, we just kept hey, showing. Mike. 
the kind of run, that run for that touchdown. Tony Pollard. To you, you, yeah. You, 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 yeah. Stop playing. Yeah. And Tony Pollard had had tough. a rushing touchdown in quite a while. Time. That was a yeah. big time, yeah. big time run. Yeah. This looks like okay. No, no. We, we, the Tony Pollard we're, look, we 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 used we're used to gets outside and runs and he uses his speed. This looks like a little amalgamation of a Pollard and Elliott, a little Zika. He, it, it's like. I'm putting my head down, yeah. and I'm going forward. I learned this by watching Zeke all those years, and it's time now for me to pick it up. And I like that. That yeah. means Tony understands now that he, hey, especially when you're starting a game, you have to set a tone. Yeah. And that was a great hard run that got him a touchdown. I don't know why, folks, but a touchdown means so much to players in mm. this league. Now, remember, we talked about this. I got this purple on. Remember, I told you, Odell, when he first got his touchdown, he's taking off now because that confidence got going again. Mm. You know, Odell's having big games now. And this will happen also for Tony Pollard. And let me do this, too. Let me do See. this, too. Deron Bland. Whew. We talked to Ron Bland. We're talking about this young dude who's been in the league now good, for two bro. years. I'm trying to tell you. Before him, this man had his another, another, you, another, bro. another pick six. I'm telling I'm you, time, tell you right? Not... Because that's his fourth pick six fourth. of the season. And that's insane and incredible. Before we talked about this dude, you, we were talking about Overhead. another young dude mm -hmm. in Trayvon Diggs doing the same thing. Setting and breaking NFL records. When I see these things, Deron Bland, Trayvon Diggs. You bet y'all don't have Trayvon Diggs. Okay, give me a common denominator. One common denominator, team. and that's Al Harris, uh -huh. the defensive back coach uh -huh. for the Dallas Cowboys. Uh -huh. I don't know what giving him credit means, but whatever it is, he has earned it. Because these guys only been coached by one guy. You can't say, well, they learned that, that they learned this. They learned it under him. And what an incredible yeah. job he has done. When we lost our hands, we, we used each other's shoulder and we dropped a tear and we yeah. cried on each other's shoulder. We did. But Deron Bland has wiped them tears off my face and he is tears playing of joy. great football. Yeah. He turned them tears into tears of joy. I gotta give him credit. And that's what you look at if you're the Dallas Cowboys. Don't buy any of that. You can look at number seven, which means completion, and you're trying to complete your football team. That run game is important. Deron Bland, pick sixes, all of that. That's important. Don't listen to this. Don't listen to this. Don't Big listen to talking. what? Mm. Just say my name. No, I just said, don't listen to this stuff that key is talking. Okay. Right. He ain't got no key oh. to no locks with that yeah. noise. <laughs> okay. Thank you. All right. All right, my turn. I am going all the way up on the scale of one to ten in impressive yesterday to an eight for my Dallas Lucky Cowboys. Shit. Cowboys wrong. 